Hello, this is the shorter of the two Basendorf Imperials. This one has 92 keys and is 225 centimetres long. They've just come into stock. We have done some work already to lubricate the action because it wants to lose about four grams of weight, which I think we've done. So it's about 50 to 52 grams now. And uh, it's a wonderful piano. I, we've had a few of these in the past and I really love Basendorf Imperials. It has the extra four keys in the bass. Now that goes down to F, they call it sub F, Bersendorf do. And uh, l listen to on their own, um, they're not very distinct sounding. If we go from C down. And very difficult to tell the note because of the vibrations are so short, but if you play the octave, then they do give a very nice resonance with, with the octave, a very kind of contrabass. And of course, because the uh, strings are there as well, if you play any chord, you've got those strings vibrating in sympathy, so. And then you'll have sympathetic vibrations of the strings there. So it produces a bigger sound altogether. And uh, a lot of musicians love it. Not a huge number of composers have written for those. I believe Ravel has Debussy and uh, apparently Bossoni too uh, have written for this piano. And uh, there aren't many pieces, I say, written for it, but it's a beautiful sound. This was supplied by Bersendorfer of London. That's uh, their studios in London, Wigmore Street. Oh, Bersendorfer of Vienna, obviously, but they had a, a showroom in what's now the Wigmore Hall. Now, these are... Uh, ivory keys, original one-piece ivory, so there's no join here. And uh, we've buffed them up already, so we have cleaned the piano too. It, it's not a brand new piano, so it does have shine, so signs of wear, but no major scratching. Um, we've cleaned the piano up generally. Uh, there's Bersendorf on the side. On these concert grands, you often had Bersendorf or, or whatever other make written on the side of the piano, obviously promoting the make, which is great. Bersendorf was one of the best concert grands you can possibly get. Now if you look at the soundboard, that's perfect. The inside we've we've cleaned up. It was slightly dusty and dirty, um, but uh, it looks uh, pretty immaculate and indeed is has no faults whatsoever. It's just a fine piano in every detail. Now the piano's not had an excessive amount of use. The, the keys are still very tight. They haven't been re-regulated. We didn't need to do that. They already were. But we have lubricated with dry lubricant, which is our preferred method, uh, the, the centre pins here, uh, centre rail, sorry, and um, we've also lubricated the hammers. Um, we've used dry lubricant on the rollers here, and we wanted to lose about four, four or five grams on the weight. It's a bit heavy, so I think we've managed to do that. Um, so just a bit of still fine work, obviously, to do. And uh, we've also lubricated with Protec, that's the normal lubricant for pianos on the, cent on the pins here. Now, the hammers are very free. Now, I've also marked the hammers um, with carbon paper, I've shown that on other videos, uh, just because they, the markings of the strings are very indistinct, so I wanted to get them clear. And now we can see uh, where some of them are hitting a bit too much to um, that one's string, it's hitting the string a bit too much uh, to, the ro to the left, so it should be, I need to move it this way a bit, sorry, to, yeah, so, so that it hits more centrally on this one here. And in fact, in the top, we did find a couple that were, there we are, hardly hitting on the left-hand string. So that's obviously fine work, but it's meant to be a very fine piano, so we want to refine it as much as possible. The regulation as well is quite good, but um, we need to improve it slightly. The springs are, perhaps could be slightly more tense, but that's easy to do. And the, fortunately on this one, Renner's provided um, a nice adjustment for the spring here, so it's going to be easy to adjust them. Now the hammers already do sound very good, but uh, we're going to obviously do some reconditioning of them. It's slightly flat on the top, and in fact you can see too much of the um, of too much hammers hitting the string here. I'll compare that to one that's got brand new hammers on. Now here's a Bluther Grand that's also in stock, and we marked the hammers on the, the, on this one too, where they hit the strings, and you can see that the area here 
the width is not very great. So there's a cleaner hit. These still need a bit of voicing as well. There's always a lot of work to do on hammers, but uh, as you can see, the brand new, these are the Arbol hammers. So back to the Bersendorfer, these are Renner hammers. Um, that's the colour that's used by Renner for Bersendorfer. That as a, you can see there's a, the line is longer, as it were, that as it's hit the string, uh, it's made a, a longer mark. So when they're refaced, and we will reface carefully because it already does sound good, um, but we're going to make more, a bit more of a point. Um, there's plenty of hammer left to do that. It won't affect, we like, just like having new hammers on the piano, just as good. We're listening to the tone of the hammers there. It's played softly. It sounds very slightly cleaner as we do work on the hammers as we voice them, but it is already very good and, and has a nice bite as you play loud. And the tone throughout and that's uh, G, not normally on most pianos, uh, that's sub G as it were. And uh, the bass strings, it's 1985, but they haven't really lost any of their tone. So let's say perhaps 5% at the most. And in fact, in fact, um, voicing the hammers will, is the main thing to do to bring the tone back on the piano. Beautiful tenor area. So that's a Bosendorfer, small imperial. Short Imperial, two to five centimeters long, and uh, has the beauty of these extra bass notes, which, as I say, although on their own they don't sound like a note you could distinguish, but with the octave, it, it really does strengthen the bass. And it's a beautiful sound. Now we've reduced the action weight slightly by lubrication we need to voice the piano they're the two main technical things and very fine regulation as well that's a very very fine piano Very, very controllable. The touch is very controllable. So that's just coming to stock. 10 year guarantee on the piano. Always include a first visit to your house to just check the humidity and so on. Check that the dynamics range is correct for the house. Uh, all included. So really we don't get much better pianos than this. Thank you very much for listening.